Hello Geminis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Selavi Tarot here. Let's see what's going on with your energy, what's going on with you and your person and all that stuff. Um, and of course, before we start, thank you for all of your likes and subscriptions. I truly appreciate it. And if you guys um, resonate with this, please like, of course, and subscribe. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below, okay, where we could look deeper within your person's feelings, how they feel, what they're feeling, and things of that nature, okay? So let's see what's going on with my Geminis at this time, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus signs, okay? It's taking place with my Geminis at this time. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus signs, obsession, okay? Obsession, yes. So I feel like you guys are dealing with someone here that's hiding how they're feeling is what I'm getting, especially with this energy here. I feel like someone here may be overthinking a situation or constantly thinking about a situation, but I feel like the truth comes out here, okay? Geminis, you could be dealing with someone currently that truly does not want to let you go, okay? Um, truly does not want to let you go, to be honest. I feel like this person, again, I, there's this energy of them truly hiding how they're feeling, because I get there's like a lot of layers to um, how deep this person feels for you. There's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of feelings here for you here, okay? And I feel like this person, you guys, may have some sort of past life connection that's going on with you guys currently here. And let me just dig deeper into this connection because I just, I don't know, I'm just getting this energy of someone now realizing that you mean so much to them, right? Now realizing that you are somebody that they can't stop thinking about, okay? Maybe you guys had some sort of conversation and this person didn't understand in the past, but now it's kicking in here, right? Missing the passion, yeah. A lot of you guys, it's like I was patient with this person for a very long time here, I was patient with them, I was calm, I was open, I was ready, and again, this person possibly kept you waiting for a very long time, all right? Waiting to um, give you an answer in terms of where commitment was going or where things were going here, okay? But again, I don't feel like the passion is dead, I don't feel like um, this is something that's over. However, I will say you were dealing with someone here it seems as if you guys weren't really compatible when it came to uh, direction, all right, in terms of where this relationship was going, right? It's like we both had different perspectives of how love should be, how love should feel, okay? Because I still see the passion here. I still see this person still holding on to you, still wanting to create something with you here, all right? And again, let me just dig deeper again. For some of you guys, you may find yourself currently still waiting for this person and unsure what they're thinking, unsure of what their uh, next move is here because we get a waiting energy. And it's interesting because as you guys wait, what happens is you guys are slowly somewhat giving up on this energy. It's like I'm waiting for this person. I'm hoping that this person uh, still cares and still loves me. But uh, again, it's like now I'm sitting here alone thinking about all um, of the neglect. And I feel like some of you guys are kind of like allowing this to kind of fall apart slowly but shortly. It's like you're giving up to some extent. And I feel like at some point this person's going to feel that still pining. So a lot of you guys, it's like I haven't completely released this. I haven't completely released my energy from this person. I still love them, okay? I still have love for them. However, I don't feel like this person may be giving much. We're going to clarify this obsessive energy here and see what's going on with this energy currently here, okay? Let's see what's going on with you guys. Interesting, actually, okay? Let's clarify this uh, obsession here, okay? this here let's clarify this obsession what do we have for this obsession please for my gemini's yeah someone may feel like you're possibly dealing with someone else or you're moved on to someone else and i feel like that's like constantly on their mind wondering if you are completely done with them or if you're releasing them to some extent okay thank you it's like i've been waiting for you but what do we have for obsession, please? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may have children with this person, okay? 
Yeah. So someone here is obsessed with the fact that uh, someone here hasn't made a decision with the two of wands. OK, I feel like for a lot of you guys in the past, you used to try to contact this person here. You try to nine of pentacles work on things together, right? Where I was patiently waiting for you. I was always giving, constantly giving to you a lot, actually um, over giving for a lot of you guys. And I feel like this was someone here that you chose to work with in a different, you know, in different ways. It's like I would put myself aside and I would try to work with you. I would try to understand where you were coming from. And I feel like someone here is fearing that you're no longer in this energy you're no longer in this giving energy any longer okay because i do feel like in the past here someone here had to make a decision with love here with you choosing to either move in with you or choosing to um choose you and i feel like someone here decided to turn their back here a lot of you guys used to suspect this person even um when they were around you it's like they were always hiding their phone um it's like even when I would text this person, this person wouldn't respond. It was always an issue, right? This person would go and um, take their calls in a different room. It was just always suspect, if you understand. Because I feel like this person wasn't really giving to this Ten of Cups. Although they had emotions for you, they weren't really invested as much as you were invested here, okay? Because I do feel like someone here decided to uh, choose another direction, Okay, choose another direction, but at the same time, still wondering if you're still standing there waiting. So this could be somebody here that still watches you, still wonders about you after they made a decision to completely, you know, move away from your energy, which is interesting to me. Okay, let's see what's going on with this clarity energy that's coming in here. Someone here is getting some sort of clarity. Okay, let's see what this is about. Some of you guys are finding out the truth about this person, okay? It's like you, the universe is bringing in the truth about this person. As you sit back and you wait here, the truth comes in, okay? The truth. This is, you see, this is an energy seven of pentacles of someone here being, um, fed up it's it's like i've had a lot of patience with this person this is an energy of frustration really okay for a lot of you guys in this waiting energy it's like i've waited i've waited i gave i gave and now i'm understanding that i need to give to myself in a sense is what some of you guys may be getting again with the ten of wands it's like i was carrying this whole relationship on my back alone here right? It's like, I have so much to say, but I feel like you're not helping out. You're not trying to understand where I'm coming from. Okay. And for some of you guys now, you feel like you're on hold. All right. Or this person may feel like they're on hold, but I do feel like the situation is on hold. But again, there's clarity coming in for a lot of you guys at this time. Okay. Show me how Gemini's person's feeling. How is Gemini's person currently feeling? Okay, and take this how this resonates, okay? How is Gemini's person currently feeling, please? How do they feel during this time? Okay, so this is someone here that wants to communicate very quickly, actually, okay? Where something happened here, you guys possibly got into an argument or there was some sort of back and forth or you found out the truth about this person, okay? Okay. There was a, some sort of back and forth that ended the relationship, okay? Someone here decided to walk away. Someone here decided to give up on this. You guys got into um, some heated disagreement. Whatever it is here that happened, I feel like someone here is wanting to reach out, wanting to say something, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you feel like really this person hasn't really been giving much effort, but I feel like this person is breadcrumbing all right i feel like they want to do more but i feel like they're just measuring what they do so little small you know haze highs here and there i'm um, watching you preferably because again this person has an obsessive energy okay which we're also uh, that we clarified here okay where this person could be very comfortable with keeping you waiting keeping you on pause for some some of you guys okay let's see what else yep keeping you very stuck here Okay, this is someone here that could be playing games with you. Okay, I do feel like this person constantly thinks about you a lot. And for a lot of you guys, this person doesn't really know what to say. Okay, so they don't say much. Okay, or they keep it very simple. But I do see them um, constantly thinking about you constantly. 
okay? So that's what I'm getting for your person. Let's see how my Geminis are feeling. Let's see how my Geminis are feeling. How's my Geminis feeling? Yeah. See, the thing is, someone here is realizing, like, you know, this is a burden. Like, this is a serious burden. Like, I've been doing the most in this relationship, right? It, it's like it's coming to reality. This is how my Geminis are feeling. Empress energy, okay? Focusing on me, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo or may have Leo in your chart because they got this. But again, this is an energy of let me just focus on myself at this time, okay? For some of you guys, there may be two people, okay? Two people in this energy I'm feeling, but I feel like the main priority is you and healing, all right? There's something about healing that's coming in for my Geminis at this time, okay? How's my Geminis feeling? Wow. So you guys do want love, but it's like I want love, but I just don't want this complicated energy, okay? Because I feel <laughs> so funny. It's interesting because it's like my Geminis are just like, I'm ready for this connection. I'm ready for a connection, right? I'm ready for somebody that's going to love me as much as I love myself, right? Since I've been waiting, I've been working on myself and I'm ready for this two of cups. So a lot of you guys are open to the passion, but it's like the offers that are coming in, you're a bit skeptical about it. Again, like I said, there may be two people, okay? I do feel like you guys still have love for this person, but I feel like there's an energy of you possibly uh, not knowing if you trust this person's um, promises, right? Like, I don't know if I could trust this person, or I don't know if this person could really um, build with me, right? Because they've been inconsistent in their life, or they're inconsistent with me. One more, please, for my Geminis. Yeah, Hermit. So you guys are putting yourself in this, you know, isolation energy, right? Working on change, the world here, all right? A lot of you guys have been waiting for this person to reach out as well, as you decided to work on yourself. And you've noticed that this person hasn't really really been doing anything. Virgo energy. Okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are in this place where tables are turning. All right? And you're going to start seeing that. Where you're going to want to be left alone. And you're going to want to be in this energy of not really talking to people. Not really communicating with people too much. It's like instead of you responding to their small message and stuff, you may not even respond. It's like I'm choosing not to give anymore to anything that I don't feel like I deserve, right? Because in the past here, I feel like there was a connection that you were in where you were overgiving and you were stressed and you weren't really happy, right? Of course, there were some good times, but there was this energy of, you know, I'm patiently waiting for this person to get it or for this person to help me or meet me halfway in this connection, okay? So I do feel like there's this energy of a lot of, you know, there's an epiphany happening at this point here okay so let's see what else we have for you guys here especially with passion let's see what's going on with this energy of passion here for my gemini's yeah this is it's it's this vibe of like wait hold on what about me right you guys could have been dealing with someone that was kind of selfish all right, kind of draining kind of overwhelming and they really pulled you away from you it's like i was so focused on, you know, loving this person and waiting for this person to get it together that now I'm starting to realize, like, maybe I should just put the attention more so on myself, okay? What do we have for this passion energy that's coming in here? Wow. Yeah, see, someone here wants to be connected with you, Gemini, but I feel like you guys may not... Uh, I may not be open to this right now. Someone here is interested in you. Yeah, someone here is definitely interested in you here. Okay, this person could have ended a relationship or something just ended for them. But I feel like this person's asking for some time. This could be you, Gemini, asking to take things a little slow. Because you're still working on your healing. Or you're meeting somebody that still needs to work on their healing here. But what I do see here is at some point there's a strong energy of happiness that comes in for you. Okay, again, somebody could have ended something here in a relationship. Scorpio energy. Okay. But I feel like this person's ready for love again. Or this could be you ready for, for love again. But again, there has been a strong transformation. 
strong, strong transformation that's happening where it's like we didn't have a choice but to end this. We didn't have a choice but to come out of this waiting period. But then a new offer comes in for you very strongly here for a lot of you guys. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords. All right, be sure to not deal with anybody that's selfish. Okay, that's all about themselves and trying to get you to do everything. All right. But I do feel like someone here may be asking for some more time. Like, you know, the passion's good. The connection's great. I love the way, you know, we connect with one another. But I want to take things slow. Okay? But I feel like there's someone here that's not taking no for an answer. Okay? This could be this obsession energy that's coming in as well. What else do we have for my Geminis? Okay? Dealing with this past person. What happens with this past person with my Geminis? What happens with this past person? Yeah. So a lot of you guys may still be in this energy of stress. Okay. Fear. Yeah. You, you know, it's so interesting. It's like this past person that you're dealing with, Geminis. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. There's this energy where it's like there's a lot of. All right. And again, take it how it resonates. There's a lot of stress here, all right? Someone here may be overthinking, constantly thinking about, you know, this past person or what's going to happen or what's going to take place here, right? It's like I'm constantly thinking about this person, but we also have the Seven of Swords. It's more so you may not trust this person anymore, okay? A lot of you guys may not trust this person and I'm sitting in this energy of stress. Am I going to meet somebody? Am I able to move on from this, okay? For others of my Geminis, you know what to do, okay? You've consulted your inner wisdom. You know the truth. You know you should be creating some boundaries with this person here, okay? As you, the more you stress here, if you look at this woman here, the more she's running towards this direction, uh, the more she's hurting herself, okay? But I feel like the truth is here, someone here needs to be in the Queen of Swords, keeping boundaries, releasing any sort of negativity. It's like, honestly, like, uh, is this something that truly um, will benefit me in the future in terms of growth, in terms of evolving, you know, into my better me or to, you know, finding the better Gemini, all right? Take it how it resonates. But again, I feel like you guys don't trust this person and you guys are going to create some boundaries with this person here. Okay. However, again, I do see an energy of, is this person even going to want to come back? All right. There's this uh, frustration and fear and a uh, lack of faith here that someone has not really understanding what may happen. But the truth is, I feel like what's one of the main things that you're going to have to do is create boundaries with someone where boundaries weren't created in the past. Okay. Feel like someone didn't create boundaries at some point it's like i constantly you know i constantly waited and waited and the more i waited the more i got frustrated okay all right give me more for my gemini's please my gemini's feeling concealing letting go so a lot of you guys are in this place although you're feeling this person in your heart you feel this person intuitively I feel like someone here is masking the fact that they know that they need to release something. Okay? I feel like someone here knows that they need to let go of something, but they're hiding it. They don't want to admit that this is something that they should let go of. Again, we have the Seven of Swords. And again, take this how this resonates. This could be your person holding on to something that they need to let go of. And you know that they need to let go of it, but they're not being honest about it. Okay? Remember not to be uh, some, do not become a victim for other people's issues. You understand when other people are in other situations, let them deal with it, right? Especially when they have a lot of trauma or they have a lot of childhood wounds, right? Unless you're um, a licensed, um, you know, therapist, then maybe you could move into it. But there is an energy of you feeling and knowing that this is a case beyond, you know, beyond your academics here i cannot help this person like i tried to wait i give this i gave this person the most precious thing in the world which was time and this person just doesn't get it here and i feel like someone here knows that right where this person wasn't being honest or this person's not very uh balanced right it's like if my parents knew i was even you know dealing with this person they would possibly you know have an uh, aneurysm or something okay so 
Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Some of you guys know the truth about this person. It's like, I know the truth. So why am I... I love them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Community. Okay. Some of you guys are going to start spending more time with loved ones, being around family, be, being around those that make you happy. All right. You know, stepping out there, seeing what else is out there, just being in a more happier place. I'm seeing because I feel like a lot of you guys have been stressing a lot about something. Thank you. Yeah. And a lot of you guys will be taking action towards this broken heart that, you know, you may be still sitting in here. Okay. I feel like you guys are choosing to move away from drama, move away from any dark energies. There's actions being taken here for a lot of you guys. I will say I do see some sort of communication coming in from your person, but a lot of you guys will be in this energy, finding the strength to definitely keep your boundaries, right? It's like I'm going to um, move in a different direction with this person, right? I'm going to be different in order to get different results here, okay? I won't be um, open and available and, um, you know, allowing this person to step over my boundaries and i feel like that's the energy that you guys are in actually currently because again i don't feel like this person completely is letting you go i just don't get that okay i will talk to you guys soon have an amazing one and again this is a general reading so if you would like a personal reading uh, all of my information is below i will talk to you guys soon have a beautiful week and a weekend